r slash forever alone. Woodclip says. I will be turning 42 in a month. Never had a girlfriend. And I have resigned myself to the fact that I will be far all my life. I've been single all my life. Never had a girlfriend. Never received romantic attention or love from a woman. For anyone wondering, I'm not disfigured or disabled in any way. I take care of my looks and hygiene. I have a good job, a small but tightly knit group of friends. I have hobbies and interests. I exercise and am in decent shape for my age. I was single throughout college and university in my 20s. But I always maintained a positive attitude and an optimistic outlook on life, sincerely believing that things will get better in life, and that I will find someone. A long time ago, I heard that the best way to find someone is to put yourself out there and keep meeting new people. I took his advice to heart, and over the years, have done the following, joined clubs related to my hobbies and interests and attended meetups. Attended classes, photography, filmmaking, calligraphy, art related stuff, volunteered, animal. Shelters, charities confided to my few close friends about my loneliness and shamelessly asked them to help me meet people, they responded by inviting me to their events with their other friends, did free design, video and sound editing work for someone's short film project in the hopes that I could build a relationship with them and maybe get a foot in their social circle, this never happened. While I have met plenty of women, it's always the case that they're a taken or be don't see me as anything other than a friend. So there's nothing I can do. So basically, putting myself out there isn't working. All I've done is gather acquaintances who just call me if they need something and forget I exist once I'm done helping them. I've spoken about my struggles to my therapist and she told me things like, be your own best friend, work on your hobbies, go for walks, exercise, eat right, stay physically fit, keep a journal stay positive and open-minded etc. Others close to me have said things like, being single has no bearing on your self-worth or be patient, people find love when they least expect it. I'll be honest. I find the soul-crushing loneliness to be more tolerable than these these empty platitudes because they just come across as insensitive and dismissive. But now I'm beyond the point of caring. So in conclusion. I have done all I could to change my situation, but looks like life has other plans for me. I'm now a middle aged man. If I couldn't find a woman during my youth, I have no reason to believe, in my 40s, that my situation will change for the better in the years to come. And so I'm giving up. Maybe I went about everything wrong from the very beginning, but it doesn't matter now. That's it, I guess. End of rant. Thank you for reading, edit, formatting edit 2, added. Infrada1019 says. A friend of mine just turned 40. Because of his heart condition, he has trouble holding on to a job. And dating? He has not dated even once in the last 15 years. Poor guy cannot even afford a movie ticket. Professor and Ace says. That is. Frick, ed up that you are 42, and have never gotten to have a romantic experience. I feel very sad for you as a 35 year old in the same position. You have done way more than anyone could have asked, maintaining a positive attitude, and being active when many would have given up long ago. I'm so sorry your life turned out this way, and that women saw you as a friend, rather than giving you a chance. Super Ade says. Yeah that's my situation as of right now, kinda made peace with the fact I'll never have a girlfriend or wife ever it is very hard sometimes especially when everyone you know is getting married having kids ECT, and I'm always looking and hoping for something maybe to come around eventually, and I won't be alone forever. 25 Overheat says. This is one of the most depressing things I've ever read on this sub. Society is so irreparably, frick, ed up if someone with your description, ended up slipping through the cracks for over two decades. Hopelessness doesn't begin to describe the experience. Hot Potato 128 says. 
Were you asking women out for dates? Far5001 says. Sorry brother. Frick everyone 120 says. That's so sad. Life is. Frick. I'm unfair. The musician says. I'll be you pretty soon. Jedis Noakes says. Dude, I feel like I'm the one who typed this lol. I'm in the same boat and age. I've been lucky enough to have hooked up with women, but never really had great success in dating and finding legitimate partners. It's beyond frustrating, and I'm almost giving up. Ready to close shop and drift off in the wind. It's not up to us, no matter how hard we try. r slash forever alone. Walls underscore and underscore or underscore park says. How do you guys cope with this? Gonna be 23 soon, never had a girlfriend, and probably never will, based on extrapolation of the current pattern. My studies keep me busy, but every time I think about never experiencing romance like all the other people I know, depression hits me like a truck. How do you guys cope with it all? It's not like I have any mental issues, or trauma or anything like the others on this sub have. I'm just genuinely unwanted. Dusty underscore Lee says. It's not the first time I see this question, and honestly I asked this a few times too. There is no way, you will have to endure pain, not sure if it ever will go away, probably not. I eat a lot of antidepressants, smoke a lot, drink alcohol, self-harm to the point where physical pain overcomes mental suffering, if I could I would also use drugs. Also GFE slash asthma audios on YouTube, but you probably already know about this one. Edgy underscore metalhead underscore says. I guess I force myself to be cynical and hateful about relationships. Marin S. Nipen 1996 says. Why bother worry about something you think you will never have? If there's no way out of it, entering this constant mental turmoil is only gonna make it worse than just not having a GF and not think about it, there are plenty of interesting things to do with life, you don't enter an RPG game, just to interact with one NPC, you are free to go kill dragons, or eat donkeys, or whatever you like to do. Roy Ridley says. Simply put, I don't. Every day it is impossible not to encounter at least someone mention their so in some way and after, that it is just an emotional roller coaster. I'm 25 really feels alien, no matter where you are, I feel like I could go out and live secluded in the woods and still see couples walk by trying to camp or hike. It is human nature, inescapable. And I'm not really human by this point, just a mesh of electric signals and pumping iron programmed to do my 9 to 5 every day lest I starve or can't pay the bills. Throw away 88,776,655,434 says. You really can't. Andrew Cohen says. If you continue to be very busy with your studies it is possible you will never meet a romantic partner. But, when you graduate, and find a job, and have more time, it's very possible you will meet one. Different inputs, different outputs. Skillington Riss says. 24 here, and I would say I cope by ignoring it. Which may not be the best option, but it is what it is. I work a lot, and exercise to forget. I'll listen to BF asthma, and talk to men online to fill a void. I also like to get high, and go to bed early, to not think about it. r slash forever alone. Thesark for life says. Dating apps are humiliating for an average slash below average guy. Let's say you magically get a match. If you're a below average slash average guy, you basically have to dance like a jester for the girl, to respond to your messages. You have to entertain her, and totally lead the conversation. The nanosecond she gets slightly bored, she will stop responding completely and or unmatch. 
she will only respond back with short messages, never ask meaningful questions about yourself, she does not care to get to know you, sit there and expect you to dance like a jester for entertainment and validation why match with me if you don't care to get to know me. Like. Frick. I want to feel like a human, not a jester, that you throw away the nanosuk and you actually have to return some effort into the conversation. I know dating apps are bad, and we should stay away, but this is just comical. Disclaimer before that one person in the comments shows up. Yes I know it's not all women, but this is a universally shared experience by tons of guys. Noise. Floor says. This has been my experience for years. It's always I'm just too busy or too short or just straight up ignored. Woodclip says. Dating apps are humiliating for an average slash below average guy that's because dating apps were not designed for average slash below average guys. They are tools for above average looking men and women to find each other. Nexus 30 to 10 says. Dude I've never related to anything more in my life. You are so right, you do feel like a jester, dancing to please a queen and the second she gets bored she ignores you completely. I've gotten to a point where I just don't care to try anymore. Women are like a different species and they are exhausting to deal with. You try and you try, and the only thing that changes is the year, nothing more. Jumper 34017 says. They work for most people. For us, we may as well be sending money to an exiled Nigerian prince. Alex Gulli 99 says. Most women don't use dating apps for the reasons men do. Dating is so much easier for women, even if she is below average chances are she will get approached by men, they don't need an app to meet guys. The app is usually just to stroke their ego, get likes and compliments, or just curiosity to find hot guys in the area. Saving underscore private underscore iron underscore says. I've been hit on by women, mostly single moms, I roll and get glances at the grocery store, and dating apps don't work for me either. Dating apps are trash in general. Maybe it's because I don't have appealing hobbies, I just do video games and watch TV, nothing else, that steers women away. Or the fact, that I adamantly don't want children. Signed, 31 year old virgin with no relationships. Ravens1970 says. Being below average and looks no way I'm trying any dating apps. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.